Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Public News Podcast. Uh, tonight we have a very special guest, Rachel Sadaka. She is with Scarlet Fire, who is actually um, headlining our first night of uh, Dead on the Harbor here that we're going to be doing once a month. And everybody, Rachel Sadaka. I'm a local singer-songwriter from Ventura, and uh, I'm just getting back on stage after being away for a few years because of some family stuff that went on. So I've got a great band. I'm so excited to kick off uh, this new series at, at Mrs. Olson's and kind of bringing some rock and roll and some more like acoustic music to the stage. And so I'm, I'm so honored to have been asked to come play with my whole band. You guys, you guys sound great. I mean, your, your voice is incredible. Thank you. It, it sounds it sound great. So, uh, you know, it, so how long have you been in the business? How long have you been doing this thing? Well, I got my first guitar in 94 on Grateful Dead Tour, funny enough. But um, I've been doing it professionally probably since 2000. I released my first album, and I had a 1971 school bus named Patience that I traveled all around the Western United mm -hmm. States. And I did mostly house concerts because I'm a songwriter too. So I would do like living room concerts. And uh, it was really cool because driving a 40 year old bus, I mean, right. having a venue at somebody's house and they're all waiting for you and they all bring potluck food and they pay money at the door. And I would show off my bus and sell hemp jewelry and to gas this big beast of a bus. So I did that for a while. Then I um, released another album in 2008. And I was on tour with it. And I was uh, stepping out of my school bus. Uh, and I had these really cute platform shoes on. And I rolled my ankle for the last time and busted it in three places. And uh, so I was stuck in Denver. Although I thought I was going to still make my New Mexico and Arizona shows. You know, my friends like you want me to call and cancel I said well I'm not missing my house concerts and I'm certainly not missing the music conference you know and she's like okay whatever so anyway needless to say I wasn't driving anywhere because I thought what gas and brake they're gonna put a cast on it and yeah she's like that's the drugs talking so my mom flew my biker brother out to drive this old school bus home all the way back from Denver and uh I got home and was non-weight bearing for like eight weeks. And as soon as I got better and went back to work in my family business, I had a terrible multiple sclerosis attack oh, no. where I was crippled up. I couldn't play guitar, couldn't drive, couldn't make food. I mean, it was not good. So uh, luckily I got through that and that took about six months. And um, I did the My Revival tour See, in 2003, I went to Japan, and 2010, I went to Belize, and really, music has allowed me to travel and kind of do everything on my own terms. How cool know? is that? You know, yeah. you just have that talent to be able to take it all over the world, and that's, that's awesome. Yeah, and I mostly did solo stuff because, you know, that was like what I could do. I mean, I could count on what my schedule was, and yeah. there's not much money when you're doing what I was doing, so... Yeah, but you do, I mean, obviously you do it for the love of the music. And yeah. If the music's in you. I could just, you know, I, I just heard your first set and, you know, it, it was it was incredible. Thank it was you. incredible. So, Appreciate it. Yeah. You have any more uh, shows coming around in the, in the, in the area? Because people are going to see this in about four or five days. You know, it's on a live feed. They'll watch it back. And, you know, where can they hear your music? Are you going to play any other local shows? Right now, I'm going to be playing at the Deer Lodge in Ojai on the 24th of February. Um, and I have a couple private shows booked, but I'm looking to put, book more stuff with my whole band, which I've kind of had to start over, you know, because it's been a long time, and a lot of the booking people are new, and they don't really know me, so. So how do people get a hold of you if they want to do, you You know, want you to come to a private show or, or something like that? I'm all over Facebook. I don't do Instagram that much, but I do have a music page, Rachel Sadaka, on Facebook. Okay, so they can find you there. Yeah, and I also have Rachel Sadaka Rip Logo. That's with my married name. That's kind of my private account. So that's probably, and my website is Rachel Sadaka Music. That's R-A-C-H-E-L. S E D A C C A music.com. That's my music website. So that has my personal calendar and my press kit and my all that stuff. So, cool. That's what they're going to need to find yeah. out. So, well, hey, you know, I know you got people waiting out there for you. You brought a lot of people for opening night. Man. Oh, that's, thank that's you. I'm glad. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, got to have you back here too. 
We've got to have you back here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're very talented. and pleasure meeting you. Thank you. All right. You guys, get a hold of Rachel Sadaka. She's fantastic. If you want a private show, you know how to get a hold of her. And, uh, hey, we'll have her back here again. Just look at Ms. Olson's events. And thank you guys for watching. Have a good night.